Now let me show you how you can use dynamic route to display this blog page inside this blog. You can see when you open the post page, you will have this blog. What I want when I click on this post, let's suppose if I click on this post, I want to open this individual post something like this. But you can see we just specify the hard coded post inside this page.js file. So what I'm going to do is if the user specify here one, then I want to open the first blog post. If the user specify here two, I want to open the second blog post and so on. So let me just show you how you can do that using dynamic API routing. So I'm going to back to my project, close all these files and I'm going to back to the pages and open this post. Right here you have this page.js. So what I want when the user open the first blog, I want to display all the data of the first blog right inside this page file. So what you have to do is you have to first make this page as dynamic route. To make this, you have to rename this page and specify here dynamic route value or you can say the slug. So to create a slug, you specify here square brackets and then specify your slug. So we pass here post ID. That's upon you. You can specify any slug here. I'm going to choose slug post ID. It means when the user specify value inside the URL, I'm going to get that value inside the post ID slug or you can say in the variable. So when you create this file, now this file is now became the dynamic route. Now just for that, when the user specify here one, I want to get the first blog post and display all the data of the blog post right inside this page. So to do that, we are using get static props of natures. So I'm going to just scroll down here and here I'm going to say export a sync function, which is going to be get static props. Now this function is going to execute on build time. We already learned the basics of this function. Now inside this function, what we need to do is we need to first get all the routes. So I'm going to say here constant post is equal to and then we pass here await. Now because this is a sync function, we can use here await. Just out of that, I'm going to get all the post using this helper function. You can see inside this lib right here, we have this helper.js. We can get all the post using this get post function. And if I specify the individual post value, then I can get the individual post as well. So let me just show you how you can use this. I'm going to back to this post ID and right up here, here I'm going to say import helper from the component helper. And then I'm going to grab this get post. Now, because this is the default export from this helper, we can just specify here get post. Just out of that, let me scroll down. And here I can specify get post and pass here parenthesis. Now, inside this post, I'm going to have an array of object. And inside that object, we have all the posts. But what I want, instead of getting all the post, I'm going to just simply grab only one post. So I'm going to pass here one. So this is going to return only one post inside this post variable. If you're back to the helper.js, we already learned how we can get the individual post. So we just pass here ID. So this post is going to return only one object from this function. Now, if you want, you can change this API route as well. That's upon you. I'm using this default API route, which is post. I'm going to back to this function and now once I have this post, I can now specify this post to the component. So I'm going to say here return in the object, we pass props and to this props, I'm going to specify post, this post. And now I can access this post in my component if I specify here in the object post. Now let me just specify these values here. So what I'm going to do is as you know, to this author, I'm going to grab this statement and specify that here. But before we specify this statement, we need to grab these values. We need to first destructure these values right down here. I'm going to say constant in the object. We pass title, image, subtitle, description and author. And we are getting this value from the post. And then I'm going to specify these values right here. Just for that, I'm going to specify title. So I'm going to get rid of this hard coded value. Specify here title. Let me do the same for the subtitle as well. So here I'm going to get rid of this value and specify subtitle. Something like this. And then, as you know, we also have the image. So instead of this hard coded value, here I'm going to pass the IMG variable. 
and then instead of this paragraphs i'm going to specify the description something like this now let me save the changes back to my browser and reload it you can see i'm going to have an error message here get static path is required for the dynamic server side generation pages so when you create the dynamic server side generation page you have to call get static path function as well so you have to create that function as well so just down here you have to say here export async function which is going to be get static path you can notice the name of both these functions are different we are using here get static props to get the properties and we are using here get static path to specify values to the dynamic routes so here i'm going to say get static paths and then i'm going to specify here constant post is equal to await and then i'm going to get all the posts so i'm going to call get, get post function here i'm not going to get only one post this is because there are different possibilities of this get static path you might have here one two three and so on there, so there are multiple possibilities of the path so we are going to just get all that post and then we pass all the possible values to the parameter so i'm just going to say here constant path is equal to post dot map i'm going to call here map function on this post array and here i'm going to say value and call an object inside this i'm going to return an object and say params and to this params you need to specify the value to this post id slug so here i'm going to say post id pass here colon and the value is going to be the ids so we have here an object inside this value so we pass here value dot id and keep in mind this is a type of string and this value is a type of number so you have to convert this value into string so to do that you need to specify here to string function of javascript something like this just sort of that you need to just return this path from this function so write down here and just out of this function here you say return and here you turn all the path all the possible paths and then i'm going to say fallback is going to be false let me save the changes back to the browser and now reload it here i'm going to have an error map is not defined let me check my code again yeah right here i just imported this get post from this header instead we have this get post inside the helper file so let me just pass that here get post let me save this file back to the project and now let me reload it here i'm going to have the error this is because cannot destructure a property called title of post as it is undefined now this is because you're just returning here post so you can just destructure all your values inside this parenthesis i use here an object and then destructure it inside this statement so instead of destructuring these values right here i can pass this value right to this component something like this save this file back to my project and reload it you can see i'm going to have what i want so we have the data of the first block in this project if i change this one value to two i will have my second block if i specify here three i'm going to have my third block but you can notice you're still going to get the first block as a response this is because inside this get props you have here one means this statement is always going to return the first block so what you want to do is you want to get this value from the url and specify that to this function to get this url value you can just specify here a property params you can access this params object inside this get static props and from this property you can access this post id so here i'm going to say params dot post id something like this now let me save the changes back to my project and here you can see i'm going to have my third block as a response if i specify here four i'm going to have my fourth block if i specify here two i'm going to have my second block so now i can navigate through my different blocks using this url now you can specify this url to your link component and navigate through different blocks 